Welcome back. I had one more save just for good measure. And on the 13th day of November 1999, we shall play some more XCOM. We've got 36 million in the bank. We've cleaned out all the bases from planet Earth that are not bases of XCOM. There might be a few American or Russian bases in there. I'm not too sure. They look like Snake Man to me. Who can tell? Uh, we are an <laughs> invest sorry. We are investigating Sidonia or Bust, uh, which is uh, due to arrive in a couple of days. Which means after which we can go to Mars. We will do that in Avenger number four, which is currently under construction, still 19 days away. Which means on um, what is it? Uh, first or second of, of December, something like that. I don't want to do math. My free time, damn it. Uh, we'll leave for Mars and finish the game. It's still a couple of videos out, no doubt. I don't know why I'm clicking like this, but it's fun. Whee! It's still a couple of days out, and uh, it's still a couple of videos out, and probably a couple of days for me as well. I only have half an hour left before uh, a good friend of mine will come over and we'll drink some beer and be merry on a Thursday. Um, we'll just play and do a supply ship for the Ethereals. Ugh, it's an infiltration mission, though. I, 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 do you, should I? I mean, really? Seriously? After all that rocket with six dead in, in a standard base Snake Man mission? Uh, maybe I should take that beer early. What do you say? That uh, hopefully was recorded. It might be a toast to all the dead soldiers that are coming up because I am contemplating doing this, but it's, uh, it's horrible. These these aliens, they are they are the stuff of nightmares. They mind control even the best of soldiers, make them shoot each other. They might even mind control the the poor guys that are sitting at the back of the sky range, doing nothing, just being impressively shy, and they might still die. But it is an infiltration mission. It's going to North America. I can't lose North America. North America has Avengers. We'll plunge it into the ocean. Yes, that, that's what we'll do. That's a good plan. I yeah. should have thought of that immediately. Kill them! Kill them! Yes. <laughs> Ethereals can't swim. I, I interrogated the sectoid myself. He told me after I pressed the issue quite a bit of time. Ethereals cannot swim. Oh, I feel better already. Boy! Oh. Damn, that was close. Right, where was I? Oh yeah, we have completed fusion ball defenses everywhere now. Graph shields are on the way. We can play some graph ball and secure our bases. This is... Yeah, it's going well. Small, it's a floater, alien retaliation Europe. This is pretty standard stuff. Uh, we can use Avenger a bit more, I guess. Plunge everything in the ocean. Let's get this, uh, this show on the road. I don't know how, how expensive this is on the Illyrium. Very large battleship snake man. Well, if you want delirium, this is one way to have it. Uh, we can have it by daylight as well, I do believe. Sky Ranger 2 from Africa is ready to roll. Uh, so is Sky Ranger number 3 from the main base. Sky Ranger number 3 has our commander on board. Let's get our commander into the fray at all times and see how many we can kill off before we go to Mars. <laughs> oh, that's so evil. I hope X Reaver X actually lives despite the fact he's not commenting because we came full circle. Ethereals again, damn. He was the first commander and, and he might be the last. Mm, in retaliation, North America. I'm gonna send an interceptor after it, but we will lose contact with it, I suspect. I can also shoot down this thing with an Avenger, of course. I didn't build so many Avengers for nothing. But it's, um, it's a base mission. I'm not too worried about it. It's gonna build another base. We might play another base. And do we have any trouble with it? Uh, yeah, that's the same one. We're gonna plunge all the Ethereums we can into the ocean. If at some point we get unlucky, <laughs> I'll play it, okay? That's a promise. But only if I have to. And only the small UFO, not a battleship like Horst said in the comments today. This is the 22nd of March, of May, by the way. So it was the day that he commented. I'm gonna save because it looks like this um, might turn out for the best. It's uh, my, my backup save that I just killed. And it is. Floaters in a battleship in the woods in North America. They are building a base. I do suspect that base will still get built, but there's 200 delirium here to be had. This is the first time we have um, decent size soldiers for very large. 
X Reaper X is on the case with his um, four stars. Actually, our commander should have one of these just to pretend like he's an actual Psy soldier. I don't think he'll use it. And um, this should be uh, this should be rather interesting. I thought it was I thought this was floaters. Apparently, <coughs> it is. Um, it is not. It is Snake Man. I do not know which I prefer at this point actually anymore. It's it's all just horror stuff and horror stories. What do you first? I kind of just want to kill the chrysalid. Get get rid of it. That worked. Yeah, let's just cover some ground. We're bound to bump into more, and then we can chain them. Boy, and I'm, I'm quite a feeling this after this this mission that went horrible after a few blaster bombs hit our team. It could easily happen again. So far, we're not lucky with finding them with blaster launches. They're still up and about. And I think our commander has a flying suit, by the way. I probably should fix that after this mission. I just realized it. We're still carrying a mad kit around. You might do some more saving lives, my son, but not at this point. Here's our commander. Look at him. Awesome. It's good working out. Um, just land. Oh, this is the the, the horse um, super soldier. Not in a flying suit either. I should upgrade some people. I probably shouldn't unload all of them at the same turn. These are, um, yeah. Well, you're in immune for blaster bomb unless uh, they're mean. The flying suits will take some people out of the equation for the chrysalids, which is good news. No idea what happened. I think it was a blaster bomb and they blew up their own guys. Which is actually kind of cool if they do that. I could just put a guy on the bottom floor and they'll blow each other up. Right, let's get our guys uh, in gear here. Let's find control these and, and use as much meat shield as we can. Find as many as we can, disarm as many as we can, just make them absolutely useless and then shoot them. Yeah, we'll humiliate them in front of their friends and family, and then we'll shoot them. That is the XCOM way. That is the most evil way to deal <laughs> with this threat. Look at that, we're finding them in bunches now. We can uh, shoot some of them, I guess. Yeah, we'll just converge on, uh, on the access lift with whatever we mind control. Doing this on reaction fire is not a good idea, by the way. I tried that before, remember? <laughs> um, these guys carry blaster launches, which means if they carry, if they get a line of sight on us, am I walking around with a side soldier here? No, it's our, our mixed dude. Let's get this thing back in your backpack. Um, yeah, I tried it once before on reaction fire, and it might improve our reactions. I think Kiatl, uh, or whatever how you pronounce it, just pointed that out on one of my videos just moments ago before I started this video. But uh, this is not a good time for it. If they get a line of sight on us, they will wipe us out. And I, I seriously have some some fierce objections to being wiped out. I don't know. It's one of my phobias, I guess. By the way, I haven't had a sip of the beer that I opened. Cheers. That's the guy with the blaster launcher right there. There's another one. And that was a chrysalid. Let's start the chain again. Oh, this is actually brilliant. Look at that. We can mind control all of these. Bring them down and then just shoot them. I mean, we disarmed a couple here. That's just fine. That's 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 excellent. They are no longer of consequence. Actually, I can't shoot them. Okay, just stay put then. Yeah, you you guys uh, hang around for a bit. I hope they didn't damage any Illyrium with that blaster bomb that they uh, fired through here.
Right, now let's start the mind control party. Oh, look at that. Come on, Skeeto Dev. <laughs> and there's one with a blaster launcher there, so uh, I could mind control all of them just for uh, mind control's sake. But, um, let's do this uh, the cheap way. <laughs> I did destroy a lot of the, the ground, but uh, with the flying suits we have going around, it, it's not really a biggie. And that took care of a lot of problems. I wouldn't be surprised if they start panicking after this. And I do think we have them all of the um, on the outside area here. Chris Blair here is one of the guys with the, with the flying, so he will be uh, quite important. But we have several others to choose from. Hmm. Apparently, one of the guys that um, we mind controlled is up and about without weapons but with grenades. I do know don't know if we miss one in the corner here. I apparently not. Okay, let's let's do the trick here. Jay Stang missed mind control. I'm pointing out the misses a lot, I know. <laughs> but uh, it happened. We spot more. This looks like a blaster launcher. And it is. Throw that away, please. It's a bit mean, they have no clue on how to pick up their weapons again. This is in the UFO somehow, but even though it's a bit cheaty, we'll, we'll roll with it. Mind control it. Okay. Um, what to do? I guess we can just disarm the whole lot of them. Oh, we found another one. <laughs> I love this face, I really do. I can totally appreciate why people think it's boring, but it's it's just so lovely, overpowered and unbalanced. It is just fun. It's a lot of fun. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm gonna have some people in here. I'm gonna assume it's it's safe-ish at the moment. I was right. And I'm done with mind control just for a bit. We killed so many blaster launches already. I'm still too, a bit worried where the grenade came from, but with all the bugginess that's going about, it, it could have easily just um, come from inside the UFO or something freaky like that. Look at that. This place is absolutely swarming. I think we took care of a, of a snake man infestation here. He spots another one. We'll just line him up to be shot in the next turn. Oh, that's a blaster launcher. Uh, yeah, just do it like this. Surprisingly few chrysalids. I'll probably open a door now, and there's one. Jinxing myself. Actually, let's have a few people step... Uh, oh, outside. Uh, we have somebody that can take care of you. I think we can walk there. Oh, he's got a flying suit. Brilliant! I love how they just appear as soon as you can get the light inside. Oh, that's not having a flying suit for you. And that's not having a flying suit either. Fine, we need other people to go upstairs. Oh, yeah! yeah. How did he not zombify anybody? Jeez, that scared the crap out of me. It's a hot day here, and this is not helping my nerves at all. 
All right, let's get the guys in the flying suit upstairs. Right, I need some scouts here. Uh, let's not step in front of him. That seems like a bad idea. Oh, he didn't have a weapon. Oh. And now I don't have enough time here. We'll shoot him next turn. There are two in there. Oh, yeah, I should have anticipated that. Still, it's dead. Uh, it's not all of them, though. And I doubt he's outside the UFO. Jeez, I was saying not enough chrysalids, right? How lucky am I with this particular mission here? The answer to that question, in case you're wondering, is incredibly freaking lucky. Okay, one got up on the outside. That's easily dealt with. That's it. Cheers. No deaths, 200 lirium. And it's heading for Africa, right? Yeah, yeah. Sky Range 3. No, this is Europe. We actually completed a complete batch of um, of laser pistols. How many is that? We totally neglected this. Probably a thousand or something. No, it's not that many. 350. We will keep building them though. Because what else are we going to do? We, we might build some uh, some flying suits, but we don't really need those either for our, our final mission. There's no real point actually in building anything at this point. Um... Yeah, we'll go for the pistols. Make some money. Once we retire and the war is won, um, I don't know about you guys, but I sure like my money. Of course, we'll divide it all uh, equally, 50% for me and 50% for you. Sounds perfectly fair to me. How many Illyrium is still left to fly the Avengers here? 111. I'm guessing um, we could have uh, at least a hundred more because there should be loads over here now. 530, yeah. That's more than we could eat. Oh, that's expensive. Let's have a little selling spree. Let's let's get our affairs in order here. I said I like my money. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys do as well. Let's be freakishly rich after all this is said and done. Let's make sure that um, once XCOM has won and all is in the bag and we're going to enjoy our fame and our infamy. Questions will be asked and <laughs> tax collectors will come calling because the paperwork seems to be off. Now nah, let's keep those. That's 60 million. I know the game will bug out after a couple of billion in the bank. But to do that without cheating is pretty hard to do. Heavy plasma clips. <laughs> Look at that. It's pretty ridiculous. If this base ever gets attacked, uh, before this base ever gets attacked, I, I will definitely need to sell everything that is here. Uh, actually, we can dispense of the blast launch completely. Same for the stun bombs. Let's not have any accidents happen here. You never know when a soldier gets drunk and accidentally fires a blast launch in the base again. Oh, it's so annoying when that happens. Super Relu has been drinking heavily lately. He's on a bit of a religious search, preaching away in the barracks. And uh, he's getting drunk every day. He's been on a couple of missions drunk even, and I'm not a big fan of it. So let's make sure that he can't wound himself by twinkling and tinkering with, with blaster launches uh, during one of his nightly escapades. Get yourself under control, man. I know it's a miracle that you survived somehow, and, and that Super Elu number 3 has no business walking the earth. But uh, still, you know, strange things happen. The big bunny in the sky does strange things, and the universe doesn't follow its own laws, it's a buggy universe, and we all live in it. Snake Man, oh yeah, they build a base, I better scout it out. 
should be over there where that uh, very large landed. There it is. Um, it's a Snake Man supply ship. Uh, doesn't mean it's, a sna it's an alien uh, Snake Man base. It could be an ethereal base for all we know. Um, let's check our sky ranges here. Number two and number three are in good form. No casualties, no need to replace anybody. I think uh, it's time to clean up base number five. Make this the best month in the history of XCOM. Um, but it is a bit uh, short on time to do that. Uh, I kind of want to squeeze it into one video if I can help it. Uh, we'll just spend ten minutes cruising about before we kill the base. Here we go. Was that Sardonia or Bust? No, it's not. It was um, something else that gave us nothing. Probably the clip from something. Yeah, Plasma Rider. Okay. Craft shields are done, and this is Sidonia Abbas. It is now clear that the alien hordes are being controlled from an underground base in Sidonia. Unusual area of Mars, featuring Mars. Featuring five sided pyramids and a large formation resembling a human face. This thing is actually sort of real. There is a formation of rocks resembling a human face on Mars. It will look nothing like a human face if you look at it from a different angle or from the surface of Mars, but. Uh, uh, it's a bit of a, a freakish rock formation uh, for people like us who tend to spot patterns when there are none. Uh, Sardonian civilization once flourished on Mars many millions of years ago, but we do not know why it died out or what the connection is with the latest alien activity there. Whatever the explanation, we must send an expedition to Sardonia. This is the only way that we can defeat the aliens. We must destroy the controlling master brain. We will need an adventure craft equipped with the most awesome destructive power at our disposal. There is nothing more we can learn here. We must await the outcome of the Sidonian assault. All you have to do is uh, just kick back. I'll take care of matters from here on end. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is what we need to do. I could uh, research all this stuff. Which we will. And I'm not saying I will do it all until the last bit of, of stuff is researched. And all the researchers will start twiddling their thumbs. Although that is what researchers usually like to do. Just be paid and do nothing. I know. Um, heavy laser. Oh yeah, we haven't even finished that tree by a long shot. But we'll just spread it out and see how far we'll get. It's still um, 11 days until the end of the month. Very large. Edwin ancient in Central Asia. There's no Avenger that can catch up to him. Uh, if he goes straight for the base. Central Asia. Has one, two, three fusion ball defenses. I know it's it's probably too late for the game, but uh, let's build another one. It's not going straight for the base, which means we can't take it out with a Avenger from America. Look how fast that thing is! Brilliant. Aggressive attack will not clean this one up. We'll just let it rot in the desert. Yeah, Snake Man, I have seen enough of them to last me three lifetimes. This is Alien Retaliation South America. We have plenty of Avengers just for this occurrence. Can we dump it in the water, please? Let's be patient. Even though Avengers are notoriously quick uh, to do get their fuel. Uh, that's a Sky Ranger. This is an Interceptor. And, and where the hell is that? UFO, okay. Come on. No, it's it's just yeah, crap. <laughs> Damn it. That's what I mean. I was just about to engage when the Avenger kind of crapped out and said, Well, you know what, screw it, I'm going home. Screw you guys, I'm good. We'll have none of it. Here's Avenger number whatever. It's taking a beating. But it has crash landed. Not a very large <laughs> snake man, it's going for Central Asia again. Uh, luckily we built a few Avengers, but we are running out rather quick now. I don't know what kind of ethereal alien irritation. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, get it over the water. Uh, we have to do this in one one go with this Avenger because we are running out of Avengers. This Avenger will have to take care of two ethereal battleships. And if possible, plunge them both into the water. This is to the death, guys. Come on, get it over the water, get it over the water, get it over the Great Lakes for all I care. It might have been, it is now. Good luck! Till the death.
Come on, plunge it into the water. Yes! Take that! Ethereal bastards. Now there is one still around here that is looking for a base in Central Asia. This base should be able to defend itself with three fusions and a graph shield, but like I said previously, it can get unlucky. If it does, by the way, we'll still have uh, soldiers here, right? Maybe we should just build some power suits for these guys, make this uh, fortress as well. Then again, I'm pretty sure it can handle it. Yeah, we got a hoover tank launcher and everything. Sorry, I'm burping. Yeah, we'll handle it. Alien Harvest South America. I am speeding through it all of a sudden and I realize I'm not doing any missions, but um, I think it's the proper way at the moment. Doing these cleanup jobs is, is really not needed. The local population will be able to deal with it quite handily. XCOM is no longer a secret organization. We've dispatched information on how to deal with the alien threat throughout the miracles of the internet, which has been founded uh, recently. Alien surgery. Oh, poor little cow. Is it a horse? No, it's a cow. It's unclear. I hope the aliens figure it out where it is. And uh, tell me. Examination room. Small ethereal large card. You wanted your mission, right? Another battleship. This one's going for South America. I can't stop it. And this is an ethereal large scout. I will blow it out of the sky. Possibly over the water. But if it turns around before the water, I'll have to play it. Ah, screw it. You know what? I'll play it. You guys want an ethereal mission? I've been skipping a few missions. You have a base mission still coming up, but uh, you also get your ethereal mission. Because you guys all hate me and want to see me suffer. I know. I know. That's how it works. Sky Ranger number three, our main team with the commander will engage. Oh, will engage these bastards, the Ethereals. I think it might be just over the water. It's not really of any consequence. You're leaving to rot anyway. I will, however, save the game like a scared little bunny. Call this a video and play the Ethereals in the next because I I think it's a good time to stop it. Uh, and a theory mission might take actually a bit of doing. So, you wanted it, you're gonna get it in the next video.